Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.22 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the not voltage method to find I0 in the circuit in figure P4.22. Okay, maybe let's assume this bottommost node here as our ground. So we get the voltage here as 0. But then this node here is 80, right? Because that is 80 volt from the ground. And let's name this node as node A. And this node here as node B. Okay, so we only have two unknown nodes. And let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going like that. This is going like that. And this is going like that. And this is going like that. Okay, maybe let's do KCL at node A. KCL at not A. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. The only current that goes in into not A is this one here. And that node is 80 minus VA divided by 5. So 80 minus VA divided by 5 and then the other currents is going out so we'll have Pa minus Pb divided by 10 so let's do that Pa minus Pb divided by 10 and then plus we'll have Pa minus 0 which is Pa divided by 70 divided by 70 Okay, we can multiply both sides by 70, I think. 70, and 5 and 70 will cancel into 14. So I'll have 14 multiplied by 80 minus 14 VA. Okay, and then 10 and 70 will cancel into 7. So we'll have 7 VA minus 7 VB. Good. And then plus 70 and 70 will cancel each other. So I'll have PA here. Okay, now let's solve this. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 14 is 22. So I'll have 22 PA. And then minus 7 PB. Minus 7 PB. And then... 14 multiplied by 80, I think that is the job of calculator. So I'll have 1120. Okay, this is KCL at not A. Nothing more that we can do. Maybe let's have this as equation number 5. Okay, good. Now let's do another KCL, but this time at not B. KCL at not B. Again, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There are two currents that goes in, which is this one and this one here. This one first, so we will have AT minus VB divided by 5. Good. And then this one here, so I will have PA minus VB divided by 10 okay and then we will have VB minus this is as the current that goes out right so we'll have VB minus 0 which is VB divided by the resistance between them which is 12 okay that's good we can multiply both sides here by what I think 60 is good, right? 60 is good. 5 and 60 will cancel into 12. So I'll have 12 multiplied by 80. And then minus 12 PB. Okay, that is the first term done. And then 10 and 60 will cancel into 6. So I'll have 6 VA minus 6 VB. And on the right hand side, we will have 12 and 60 will cancel into 5. So I will have 5 PB. OK, 
okay maybe let's move all of that to the right hand side i think so we will have minus 6 va minus 6 va and then 5 plus 18 i think 5 plus 18 what is 5 plus 18 23 yeah 23 vb plus 23 vb but then 12 multiplied by 80 is 12 multiplied by 80 960 okay so you have 960 960 and this is equation number two okay good we have two equation with two variables we should be able to find out ta and vb and i think the fastest way to do that is just using calculator let's set up our calculator as equation solver which is number five and two variables is number one so we'll have 22 minus seven and then 1112 okay then we will have minus 6 23 and we will have 960 let's hope it's a good number okay it's a good number so va is 74 va is 74 and then what is vb vb is 64 okay vb is 60 well, okay, but the question does not ask about V A and V B, but I zero. I zero is easy enough to find. So what is I zero? I zero is this current over here. So that will be equal to V A minus V B divided by the resistance between them, which is ten. And V A is seventy. V A is seventy minus V B is 60 and then divided by 10 and so we'll have 10 divided by 10 so we will have i0 is 10 divided by 10 or that will be 1 ampere and i think this is the final answer for this question and that's all i think and let's highlight this as our answer okay that's all thank you for watching this is the answer for problem 4.22. I don't think I made any mistakes in the calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.